How is contemporary astrology different from traditional astrology? Interesting. Now, traditional astrology, astrology is the same. Study of planets and its effect on human beings. Whereas traditional astrology was all about predictions because the soothsayers looked into your chart. That is why they were known as soothsayers. They looked into your chart and knew about your personality. Hence, they could talk about the past and what made your personality and about the future as to what you could do under the prevailing um, circumstances, seeing your attitude. So, now, whatever the soothsayer said, it was like a seed sown into your head, which you nurtured till its fruition. It's like a doctor diagnosing your element and telling you why it happened or what can happen if you don't change yourself. So what do you do? You either go home and you fret about it and worry till it actually happens or you can wake up and change yourself. This waking up and being able to change yourself is the modern concept of astrology. After all, astrology is an applied science. It helps you. It helps you know that whatever you are doing today, if you keep up this in the future and you do not change yourself, then bad things can happen. But if you wake up, you can actually save yourself from certain disasters. You can change yourself and achieve your happiness, your money and honey, as they say. Now, contemporary astrologer, uh, sorry, a con a contemporary astrology is just a different perspective in interpretation of the planets. In olden days, there were malefic planets and benefic planets. In today's world, we take the planets in its entire entirety. For us, benefic, of course, will be benefic and beneficial. But when we talk about malefic, it's basically making the client understand that the energies are not reaching you. You are probably not understanding that if you change yourself, this planet can bring these benefits to you. Let's say, for example, a person is uh, has got weak water energies. So the moon is making the person very emotional or the Mars is making the person frustrated. So we tend to tell the, uh, the planet's definition in its entirety that Mars can be very constructive and very productive if you can control your emotions. So the planets make you realize the missing links and work towards learning what works for you and that matters. I am very, very sure that it will help you and it will also evoke your interest in joining our contemporary productive school of astrology. Thank you. Stay blessed and cherish your life.